Hey guys, Raj Sanger of Cardi Security. Welcome back to the channel. We are back again with my E31 840Ci Slam Sanctuary Customs project. This is part two of the airlift suspension installation. Let's get into it. Now part one, we had some serious challenges to overcome. Remember, Airlift do not sell an off-the-shelf kit for the E31. So we've had to fabricate components and that was a challenge in itself. So we've overcome some of those challenges. If you've not watched part one, tap here and you can watch part one. Now I've got Jay here with me and he can explain to you guys what he's had to do. He looks a lot happier today if you remember <laughs> in part one. He was moody and stressed. In fact, we'll show a picture of how he looked in part one. Sorry, but customers cause priority. Yeah, yeah. Paying customer. Paying customer. But look, he's smiling today. So it looks like you've uh, come on leaps and bounds. We've made quite a bit of progress. I'm still on a customer's car and on the 8 Series. Oh, uh, just, to, so, just to elaborate on that, because we are on a time frame, this car needs to be done by Ultimate Dubs, which is just around the corner. We've definitely. had to pull in a couple of staff members from the shop just to help Jay, Steve, and so on. So yeah, let's, let's get into right, what have so you done. We've got some parts in, so drop links are gone. Got new ones, Whoa, which are on the car. They look pretty. Yep. Uh, your track ends. These are the old ones, um, seized. No point trying to spend time on it. The money they cost, we've got new ones on the car. Awesome. Rear bag mocked up, just gotta make one more. And if you head over to the car, you'll see something else as well. Yes, the front struts are in. Let's show you those. All right guys, as you can see underneath of the car, we've got our anti-roll bar in, all refreshed. Brackets for the anti-roll bar, done. Drop links, new. Uh, steering ends new and the main part if you look up here is the airlift strut all assembled with the calipers with the brackets and everything so all I've really got to do is attach the airlines and uh, theoretically my system will be running um, got a bit of work to do on the rear end apart from that I think we're nearly there Wow, what a difference. Thanks to Jay and the team. As always, they've smashed it out of the park. I'm just over the moon. We've overcome the first and the biggest hurdle. Now, obviously, we're gonna get onto the back part and we're gonna get the boot build done. Now, I have said to Jay and the team, the boot build, I want everything hidden because there will be an audio build coming pretty soon to this car. It will be after Ultimate Dubs, but there will be an extensive audio upgrade, high-end stuff happening on my E31. So guys, I'm gonna leave it here. I also know that Ellie from Voodoo Motorsport is popping down at some point, just to ensure that the wheels that he is building for us are perfect for this car. So guys, I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna leave it with the engineers and I'll be back towards the end of this episode. And hopefully, car's on the floor. See you in a bit. be working on the boot area where we're going to be mounting the tanks, the compressor and manifold. So what we're doing is making some holes in the platform where the airlift components are going to sit. So the management, the tank and the compressors. So we're now fitting the tanks and everything to the board, mounting them all up. You can see the tank, through the stuff that comes in the kit to assemble the car. Once we've plumbed the tank to the compressors and the manifold, we're gonna be dropping it into the vehicle to be plumbed in with the airlines from the struts.
only real difference is this is an 18. Now the suspension's on, you know, it, it's a good time before we commit to the measurements we did on the car previously. To just double check everything and see maybe we might be able to squeeze a little bit more. We want to see how the wheel's going to articulate and camber when it moves upwards and uh, this has proven that it gives us a lot more space to increase the size of the dish um, from the original measurement and we also check from behind just to make sure because the wheel is moving inwards that we're not going to have any clearance issues there you know mm. so and uh, we feel like we can go a little bit wider we still we're not going to go ridiculous so the arches don't have to be really modified um, and the car is still going to have a drivable tyre, so it's going to have some, you know, it's going to be usable. Um, they've been smoothed, they've been through the smoothing stage for a little while. They're going to go in now for um, primer stage, back into the smoothing, and then another primer stage. And then uh, we're going to do a little bit of machining and then ready for paint. It's going to be all good. Right, now to tackle the rear end of the 8 Series. Mounting the bags and doing the height sensors. Right guys, the airlift installation in my 840Ci is all complete. Let's grab Jay and he can talk you through the process. We've already shown you how we managed to fabricate the front struts. The rears were a bit more of a challenge, were they not Jay? Same. <laughs> Same. Were, they, were they more of a challenge than um, you anticipated? Yes, they were uh, pure fat because of the actual lower arms. So I couldn't get a full size bag in there without it rubbing against the bag. So what we've done is use smaller bags and we've fabricated upper and lower mounts. So it fits in the factory location without cutting anything up on the vehicle itself. Um, so they've gone on a treat. We've used the factory or should I say upgraded shocks that were on the car. The build teams. Yeah, the build teams. So that's it really, car's complete. Right, so yeah, he's managed to smash that out. Let me show you the boot install as well, and I'll show you the airlift control as well, because that's it's kind of clever what you've done with that. So if you guys recall, I wanted a complete stealth installation. And as you can see, when you open the boot, all you see is the boot carpet. If you lift the boot carpet, you will see the airlift installation. So there you've got two two and a half gallon tanks, you've got the uh, compressor and also the airlift manifold. All the cabling is run neatly into the spare wheel well. This will do. Let me show you the airlift controller as well. Right, I didn't want the airlift controller on show. Uh, so what we've done, we've used the original ashtray and housed the airlift controller in there. I think it looks absolutely brilliant, perfect space. Now I guess you guys want to see me air out. All right, give me a second. Airlift performance installation on the 840Ci is all done. And I've got to say, the car does look amazing slammed on the floor. From our side, we're more or less done. 
Now we are one week away from Ultima Dubs and the challenge was to get this car bagged and the wheels on there before UD. Now we've done our bit, the rest really, we are relying on Ellie from Voodoo Motorsport and Jazz of SRR Hardware to provide all the hardware and get the wheels built up. Now if you recall, the wheels were in a bad shape and we'll show you a picture of what the wheels look like when we picked them up. So hopefully the next time you see me and the 840CI will be at Ultima Dubs under the lights inside the Telford International Center. So your fingers crossed guys, it's gonna go literally down to the wire. Not only do we have to get the wheels, we have to order the tires and we have to make sure the fitment is on point. And we still need to get the tracking done, otherwise it will drive horrible all the way up from Hayes to Telford. So guys, fingers crossed, please pray that we get it done. What do you think? What does she look like? I think she looks pretty impressive. Right, next time I see you, hopefully we'll be in Telford. So thanks for watching guys, make sure you like, as always, uh, share and make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll be back again soon on Cast TV.